class is in session. This is Professor getting me. We had here another viewer subscriber game, uh, subscriber viewer um, analysis game, and this is ba -da -ba -da, a car, a car games. So we're gonna watch his bot and uh, give us some tips. So let's break it down. What's that, right? <laughs> and again, leave your. Sorry, could you repeat that? Leave your um, viewer. You know, any any games you want me to review, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll get to them eventually, maybe. You may be the lucky one I pick. Uh, I'll speed this to through the uh, left side of one. the flank. Ah, I like that. So he actually made a plan with his team beforehand. He's like, he's moving to the left side. So he's in voice chat. This is what I have to see. And he says, and he, goes up, and he uh, states the plan. He's going to speed boost them to the left side. And then he gets smashed. That's why we uh, we wait a little bit. <laughs> we wait a little bit uh, when the doors first open because a Reinhardt um, a Reinhardt could come through. There might be a trap at the door. There may be a junk rat. There may be a Maywall. Like there was so many things. Well, Maywall, but mostly the junk rat and the Reinhardt like fire strike. We, that's why we wait. That's a rookie mistake, but it's okay. Everyone does it. Everyone does that. No time. Okay, uh, let's go through the flank. Speed boosting, go through, go through, go through. Come on through, come on through. That was really smooth, really smooth. He, really, he moved really close to his team there. It's a little bit dangerous. I don't like, I usually don't like doing that because I feel so vulnerable. Um, like if they're like a, a lucky roadhog hook or there could be like a cement a bunch of symmetric turrets or a trap that I'll fall into um, Hopefully his team moved with them and then there's sometimes where your team doesn't move with you And then you you end up leading and you fall and you run into some, into your death that happens a lot So I don't like I don't like running with my team. I usually I'll usually be the last one to go in Good, good. It's all good. It's all good things. Ah! He actually announced that he's Anthony Tails. That's all me, guys. I'll take credit for that. I'll take credit for that. I never hear Lucios doing that. Like, I've started playing other heroes, and Lucios just don't do that. Like. Even in, like, Diamond, like, Lucius just don't do that. Nice. <laughs> this team just kind of smashed through. I'll speed boost us to the choke point again. There we go. Saving your speed boost for the choke point. That's what I like to see. They shouldn't really go down the middle though. The middle is like struggles. Alright. Okay. So he didn't actually speed boost. They could have kind of came down the middle, but let's watch out. It's behind. So, uh, you don't go down the middle. And then you don't just walk forward. But he had a good plan, though. Set in motion. He said he'd speed through the choke. His plan should be, like, let's go left or right. Like, that choke is, is, is death. So, if you go right, let's rewind a little bit. All right, so, you know, they, they can't be healed. That's sad. And he switches the speed. I like that. Now... He has heals. A Reaper's firing on his left. It takes him a long time to actually figure out that this Reaper is happening. How you want to approach this is that you either jump from this box over here off the bridge. You don't want to go down this bridge. Like, this is Death Trap. This is Death Valley right here. You either jump off this branch down here and then jump on this wall over here, or you jump on this pillar and then approach that way. Because as he's going down the middle, he's taking a lot of unnecessary damage, which eventually leads to his death. And he should try to convince his team not to go come through here. He should try to convince his team to go through the right and then um, rush the point from right here because you get closer to the point and less like suppressing fire can go th come your way because there's a wall on this side that protects you from a bunch of fire. Or he should try to convince them to go through the left, which gets them closer to the point. 
Um, so this is just all bad news. It's behind. There he goes. Okay. And then he gets. So he needs to be up. He needs to be elevated, like he or pulled back. Uh, but this is all just his team just falling apart. So that's just his fault. His team just fell apart. They just kind of ran in, noob style. This is this is a this is noobish behavior right here on his team's part. You don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. This is horrible. <laughs> this is what rank is he? Oh, he's a gold. Uh, <laughs> well, that makes sense. Actually, we could use the Zenyatta ult to go in, and then I It makes sense that his team is that bad. He's doing good, personally. He's doing decently. But his team is really not the not the best. Alright, he has Sombra. Now, he said something. Remember Wanda? I want to hear what he said. Actually, we could use the Zenyatta ult to go in, and then I will uh, kind of ults with some barrier. Counter, okay, so he said use Zenyatta ult to go in, and then he'll counter ult. Who is he going to counter ult? I guess Reinhardt, he can counter ult. He announced his ult is ready, that's good. Uh, that's all I like to see. Get ready. You got a pick. Again, he's just running down the center. We don't want to do that. So he just ran down the center. We really just, just want to stop doing that. I want, um, I want you guys to watch. Okay, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something special for him. So we're gonna take a, a short break from the actual video, and we're gonna go to one of my videos. Um, so a, a car. Hopefully this helps you. I'm not sure if you've seen this video of mine, but we're gonna watch this video. Where is it? Quick tactics is here. Classes and sessions. The push guide. Classes and sessions. Do an ultimate push. All right. Team that my ultimate is ready, and I've gotten them the group. So here is how you should push. This point as Lucio. I already made a video about it. So here we go. Let's watch it. Communicated with my team that my ultimate is ready, and I've gotten them the group. So let's see how I play this. Notice how I don't run down the center bridge that my team is running down. I actually get elevated off to the side and use the pillars to approach in a much safer way. Approaching this way drastically increases my chances for survival, allows me to get reliable healing on my team, and even drop down some uninterrupted damage because I'm not in the thick of things. So I'm still positioned close enough to do everything I need to do as Lucio. Let's watch one more demonstration of this style of approach. So we're here on Hanamura now, and I've communicated to my team that my ult is ready. So now we- Yeah, that's all I need. I just want to show that part. Um, let's go back. So I just want to show that part of how, uh, how you should be approaching. You saw, notice how like, I didn't even take damage that I moved forward. Like I was just completely safe. Like I was doing damage, I was doing all my healing, I was doing everything you want to be doing, except not die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, except I was also not dying as well, or taking, or feeding the enemy team ultra, ultimate charge. So that's how you should be approaching this uh, this point there. And this is just the this is this is a cluster. Yeah, you want to use your elevation in this point. This is what Lucio is good for. That's this is why you you pick Lucio on attack on this map, because you can be all up on these walls and these pillars and the sarcophagus everywhere. You can be everywhere, like yeah, you can you can be so evasive. This is what why Lucio is picked on this map, and of course to speed past the truck, get off the ground basically. <laughs> get off the ground. Don't use your ult, uh, Winston. Don't use it until we get there. If you're still alive, means any other on the way. Stay okay. Oh, well, there he seems ignoring himself. He he told us Winston not to use his ult because he saw that the fight was lost. Your team on this point has to wipe the entire enemy team. You can't just like trickle in. 
Um, so that was really good of him to um, say that. I'm glad I heard him say that. Because he wants to save your ults. Because that fight was gone. You have to know when to pull back. You have to know when to pull back, save your stuff, and then fight, you know, fight another day. I mean, he has plenty of time. He has five minutes. It's, you know, patience. Patience. Good, good call. Good call. Now, his team didn't listen. Still good call, though. God, <laughs> His team is tilting me, how bad they are. <laughs> His team is tilting me. So that's going out of my headship. I'll sound very whistle. Sorry for the laggy video. Sure to focus the mercy in the fight uh, because she probably has right. just a little small thing we don't want to give it we don't want to get hit by the fire strikes so how we avoid that we have to make a note of it we have to make a note of it in the same way we make a note of roadhog hook like i have died so much less, like so much less to roadhog now that i've made a mental note not to die to roadhog hook because it's like one of the what is it is the greatest factor that it as far as my position as lucio you need to also make that note for Reinhardt um, Fire Strike. Because he gains like, what, 7% ultimate per person he hits with that thing? Like, you don't want to be feeling his ultimate. Like, there's no, there's no reason you should be getting hit by those at all. So, don't, just don't. Don't get hit by those. Make a middle note to dodge those. It's going side, going side. It's going, it's going. Focus mercy if you can. Right now. Oh, let's break it. Damn. It's I like that ult. I like that ult because Reinhardt whiffed his ult. That ult ensured that your Reinhardt, that like the enemy Reinhardt whipped his. So that ensured that your Reinhardt was going to win that fight. Plus, that other Reinhardt still had Anna. So I like that ult. He could have hit more people with it, I think, if he'd actually ulted on the point. But I had no complaints about that ult. That was a good ult. Mercy's around her somewhere. She is raised. Taking the objective. Let's up. I'm going to get started. Gonna be with you, uh, Roadhog. They need to pull back. They need to pull back. This fight's over. Like, there's no way they're winning this fight. Absolutely no way. He needs to pull back and not feed the enemy team 200 health and ultimate charge. Yeah. You gotta know when to pull back. Um, again, uh, on this point, on points like these, because it's so close to the enemy team spawn. You need to wipe the entire enemy team, which means you just trickling in there is just bad. Now your team is delayed. Like your your other teammates are alive, but now you just died. So your team is this is like the worst thing you could possibly do um, when your team loses a fight is die like ten seconds later when your team is already spawned. You either want to die at the same time or pull back and not die at all. But dying ten seconds later or no, this is a no bueno, no bueno. Oh, Um, I'm roll percent set. We could maybe try to go in, uh, soon because they don't have any res or, uh, any ults for that matter. There we go. Now, now he's doing something good here. He's, he's explaining to his team how the enemy team used a lot of ultimates, so they don't have a lot. They don't have a lot to stop. So what I do is I just do push. Just push. You need to gain your ultimates. Just, just push. Gain those ultimates. Or, or try to, um, out harass the enemy. But his team comp, with his team comp, um, maybe try to wait for a Roadhog hook, but the enemy team doesn't have a huge advantage, so they can just kind of snowball, just kind of 
go in there, maybe just die, maybe do a dry push where you don't use any ultimates. And, you do, and the goal is simply to bait the enemy team's ultimates and, and not use any ultimates and gain your ultimates yourself. So then the next fight is guaranteed win. He has time to do this. So he, two minutes and 50, 54 seconds. He, there, there's actually time. So maybe I wanna... Okay. Okay, what he needed to do there actually was use speed buff instead of happening his tails. That Reaper was out of, like, no one was in critical position. That Reaper was out of uh, position. He could have, his team probably could have secured the kill on that with a little bit of speed. That would have been the pick they need to just rush in. I like that. I like that. <laughs> he went to reinforce and get the knockback on the Reaper. Reaper is a really good target to knockback. So in my disruptive blue seal playstyle, I have I have categorized people I actually want to use my knockback on. This is Tracer, Genji, Mei, Reaper. Pretty much all the flankers. Oh, and Reinhardt. Reinhardt as well. Um, those are the priorities. Now I'll try to knock back other people, but usually it's, it's you don't gain enough out of knocking other people back um, to risk because it's, it's also sacrifices your safety. Like it's it's very dangerous to get close enough to knock people back. Um, so those are the people I try to knock back. Oh, and some, Winston as well. Winston as well. Um, and he knocked back a Reaper, which may have saved his May, but may have saved his May, but. Um, it was a good knockback, I like that. And the kills. That just involves, not dying to that, that just involves um, hearing which direction um, uh, McCree is coming from. I activated Dolby Atmos on my headphones. I have pretty good headphones. These are Sennheisers. These are pretty, pay like 80 bucks for these. So I, I now can identify which direction right McCree is ulting from. So once you start doing that, you can tell that this guy, he probably doesn't have great headphones because he's just been missing out on a lot of sound cues. Like when Reaper, for example, when he was moving up the center and Reaper was behind him, he didn't turn around until he, he was almost dead or, you know, till way too late. You know, that McCree, he didn't have to die. He could just pull back. He, you know, the McCree is like over here. If he just pulled back like this direction over here, um, that was bad. That was really bad, but <laughs> he could have pulled back and, and very easily not died to that McCree. So, using your sound cues is very important, actually. Get some good headphones. Um, that'll up your game a lot. Freeze! Don't move! Uh, Let's up the tempo! Huh. Right. I get tried. Oh, we got it? Sweet. Yeah, Rick Reaper did it for us. Oh, Reaper, you're sick. Oh, the Reaper. All right. That was good. So that was an attack. You know, I watched defense. I watched defense. Okay, eight card games, you get a defense. We're going to make this video twice as long. You should feel special. You should feel special. Not many people like to watch these subscriber analysis videos because it's not them. Like, these aren't very popular videos, but the person I'm actually doing it for, they very much appreciate it, so this is my appreciation. This is... You get a second round, girl. I hope you enjoy this. Hope you appreciate how much work I have to put on skin. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to do this for you, though. Don't push up too far so I can uh, keep aura on you guys. Defend Objective A. Defend Objective A. Okay. So this is not a good spot. <laughs> I just thought by saying this is not a good a good spot. You can see you can see barely anything. Even if his team is right here, um, you want to at least shoot safely from like right here, so you can get your ultimate charge. You can even be like way back. You just want to shoot safely, and and not only that, but the point of not the point of my UAV playstyle is to be super map aware. 
and to never die. You can kind of do that on this point because there's you can play so far back and still hear your team. Like you can be way back here and still be shooting down damage, which will help your ultimate charge. So you don't need to go full UAV. Like this is full UAV playstyle. You don't need to go full UAV right now. You're um, you're pretty safe. Just the the structuring of this map makes you really safe. There's a lot of places Lucio can get to. So get to a spot like right here to do some damage. Not, do not, <laughs> not like that though. Man, that was super dangerous. This guy, this guy tried to give me a heart attack. Not like that. He almost died. Ugh. Oh shit. The video stutter. Okay, so this is one you want to call this Reaper out. You want to say Reaper right, you Reaper flicking right, or Reaper flicking behind. That'll get people's attention. Uh, this is what people know. And then he's dueling. It's it's fine to duel Reaper um, as long as you keep your distance. Um, it's sad though that you couldn't save your person. Uh, proper positioning from the get go would have potentially put it would have potentially put you into a position. To save that person from this Reaper, how you've been properly positioning from the get go, which could be back here. You could totally position back here, and if they don't have a right heart, there's no way you're gonna die, really. Like, yeah, just being positioned right here and just shooting down there, like, that's a good position. You totally could have saved your person had you been here or on the bridge, maybe you could have saved them. Uh, so, being in a good position is very important. Good kill, though. Good kill. Good duel there. Good duel. I like that. Smashed his face. Like Reaper, if he can't get close to you, he can't really kill you. So, good duel. Uh, also, another thing about that is um, Lucio is so hard to kill. Um, and his he's aura based, which means you don't have to be looking at your team to, to affect them with your auras and do your job. So, I actually like to distract flankers. Like, I like them trying to kill me because I know I'm probably not going to die. Which means they're not killing someone who's way easier to kill, so I'm wasting their time. I like doing that, so I'll do that for a Reaper. Mostly, I'll do that for Tracer and Genji. Like I'll do that all day for. I'll, I'll actually fight Tracer and Genji. I run up in their face like, "Let's duel. It's time to do 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 rule," because I want them trying to kill me, who's hard to kill, rather than someone like my Mercy or or my Zenyatta, who's much easier to kill. Get the heals. I still, I still really like how you keep uh, acknowledging and, and calling out that you're having heals. You, you don't be down. You don't need to be down here. Like, there's no really, there's no real point to being down here. You need to be up here. You need to be safe. Like, this is way too aggressive. Like, this is, this is the 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 super aggressive st like side of the of uh, disruptive Lucio playstyle. You want to pull this back because you're in way too vulnerable position down here. Like what, what? What does that accomplish? Like th this is what this is not for. This isn't a, a, a car. I'm not talking about this, but like this right here, like pushing a diva. Like that didn't really accomplish anything. Diva is gonna do her damage regardless. Like and like you're not really disrupting diva. Like Roadhog's knocking her back, but you're not really doing much to diva when you're pushing her back. Which is why a lot of the disruption Lucio has doesn't actually do much to help your team. Because, I mean, what are you accomplishing? Like, especially when she's moving slow. So how Lucio's um, knockback works is the only thing that affects it is how fast the person is moving. That's all. It doesn't matter how, you know, which direction, doesn't matter where they're jumping, doesn't matter how fast you're moving, only how fast the person you're pushing is moving. So when Diva's shooting, like, you're not going to shoot her, any you're not going to knock her back anywhere. Like, there is really... Not, you're not not much value you're gonna gain out of that. I do like it though if Diva is focused on me, because again she's another person where she's not gonna kill me, and I can distract her from doing other other more useful things. But like that, there's it's so low value that don't waste your time knocking back Diva. Yes. <coughs> Um, 
almost, but get get speed. Get switching to speed when you hear that dude go. Okay, so not he has his ult. He's out of ult for a while. Pull back. Pull back. Don't don't move up. There's no reason you need to be up this close to the fight. Um get safe. Prepare to get a great sound barrier. That's your job. That's your job right now. Prepare. And there he goes. There he goes. There he goes again. Helden sterben nicht. Yeah, that first point is lost. I like him waiting for his team. Like, there's no point in him moving up. That point is gone. He should be calling for his team to pull back and and prepare to defend the second point. So that was a big reason. Him dying there was a big reason why they lost this point. If he had been there and had a sound barrier, they could have very much held. So, especially on these maps, like there's specific maps where Lucio provides a lot of utility to his team. You can see the carry potential of Lucio, right? You can see how just being a better Lucio could allow you to win games that a lesser Lucio would lose. So Lucio definitely can carry. Some games, some of the time, not every game, not most games actually, but a lot of games. There's a big difference between a great Lucio and uh, and, and a not great Lucio. Reaper is seriously just fucking going after me. So, um, the, the Anna is complaining that the Reaper is going after him. That's the Anna's problem. Like, Anna can protect herself. Like, as soon as, first of all, Anna should be listening. For, so, this is uh, unrelated to Lucio. He did fine, I suppose. He, he definitely could have, if he pulled back a little bit, he could have spied, which he actually should have been. He should have been pulled back. He may have been able to spot that Reaper and then knock them away from the Anna to, to save his Anna's life. Or to uh, get get that to his team to focus on the Reaper before. Like, Anna, left! Reaper left! And then his Anna turns around and sleep darts him. That's ideal. But back to the Anna. Anna has a <laughs> sleep dart and grenade. Like, there's no way like Reaper should be consistently killing Anna if, if Anna knows what she's doing. You just gotta not... Not uh, you just need to get good. <laughs> get good. You should not. should not be dying to a reaper constantly over and over again. That means you're missing your shots. Is what that means. I mean, how many? How much damage does it do? You can you can kill reaper and well, first of all, if you sleep that reaper, you can kill him. You can kill reaper and two shots, a grenade, and I think a melee. Yeah, because you can sleep him, shoot him. Grenade, uh, punch, grenade, shot again. Yeah. So if you if you hit two shots, and then grenade him and melee him, you kill the reaper. Like, Anna has so many ways to protect herself. That Anna nah, needs to get good. Oh, let's break it. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Orgasm. <laughs> oh, well, that was that was perfect. This was a great. Oh, like I get. I I get an erection every time. <laughs> every time I do that, like this was an amazing sound barrier. Like he saved his team. He completely absorbed that McCree ultimate. That's why I like saving my sound barriers from bullshit like that for McCree. Cause it, his team definitely wasn't prepared. Like they didn't have, they weren't hiding. Reinhardt didn't have his shield up, and he definitely saved somebody. That was great. Oh no! I could have sworn McCree used it. He actually didn't. Wait, what? I gotta rewind this. Push oh, let's break it. Damn. I gotta see this one more time. Just fucking going after me. Push yards. Oh, let's break it. Damn.
He had a huge barrier. Oh, but it did, uh, I got I got to watch this one more time. Push oh, let's break it. Damn. Okay, who is this? He saved this person. So he didn't actually so he it did not hit McCree didn't actually fire when I thought he fired, but he saved this person and he McCree only got one kill when McCree would have got multiple kills actually. And McCree just kind of focused. That was a really good ult though. That was a really good ult. He forced McCree could have got a whole lot more out of the out of that uh out of that ult, but he kind of forced McCree's hand by doing sound bearer. And then Lucio had he actually had like 500 health when McCree shot him, so McCree definitely had to build up a lot of damage to kill him. But that was a really good ult. I actually like that. Uh, and then Reinhardt, the enemy Reinhardt was swinging at him, so he was draining his shield. So that's that, that's why McCree was able to, to power through that sound barrier. But he made it so that McCree didn't get as much value as he could have. And then he still hit the rest of his team, so they could do other things besides just combat, combat their McCree ult. So it, that was a really good ult. I like that. Oh, he saved his Roadhog. He saved his Roadhog. Great ult. Great ult. Please kill this McCree. He's looking at Reinhardt's butt the entire time. That was, that was, what that McCree did was really bad. He shouldn't have died there. Dodge those fire strikes. Do not get hit by those. <laughs> Do not get hit by those. Okay. I like that though. I like that he moved forward um, because he knew his Reinhardt was hit by the, the Earth Shatter, the enemy Earth Shatter. And he tried to knock back the enemy Reinhardt, which is good. Reinhardt's a good person to knock back though. He didn't really accomplish much because the enemy, his Reinhardt wasn't retreating. So he didn't actually accomplish much with his knockback, but Reinhardt isn't a good target to knock back. He helped his Reinhardt win though. He fought. He fought. That was a good him going in there was pretty good. He was pretty safe. He could have been safer if he was a little more elevated, but that was actually him good running in there. Plus he got some good ultimate charge out of that. Let's get patched up. Come here, I can hear you. He is way too far forward right here. <laughs> this is way too far forward right now. He came to back up his Reaper. But, I mean, I don't even know. This Reaper is... I mean, Reaper can Wraith form. He can, he can do the same thing from, like, the entrance. Um, but this is super far for if you're gonna do this be elevated you can definitely be out of you can be like up here like up on these pillars um, Because this is really dangerous There we go, so he has his ultimate his goal should be pulling back and what, what are his threats Reaper, okay? He also should be pulling back and looking for the Reaper McCree. He wants to be able to call out the McCree, uh, the Reaper and McCree if he sees them. And Zanny Bones, what rank is the professor? I'm Diamond. Solo queue. Only Lucio. Uh, but yeah, he wants to be able to call these people out. Um, so he wants to be positioned like up on this platform up here. Like to the left, up on that platform up there. That's probably where he wants to be positioned. Or up on this. This little ledge here. He just wants to be in the position to be like, oh god, Reaper's coming in. Adjust. To be prepared. So the only way they would have won there is if he had ulted sooner. 
probably one herring the Anna ult. Though they probably still would have lost. So that's the thing. The sound bear isn't the best. Like it's not gonna win in this situation. What he needed, like if he has like Zenyatta ult or Mercy ult, that'd have been way better in the situation. I don't think a sound bear at this point would have won the game. Let me. Okay. So his Reinhardt commits here. And they hear the Anna ult. This is a... Let's say he ults here, like at this moment. This would still be a very iffy ult because they, there's still a bunch of stuff that the enemy can do. The enemy can McCree ult. The enemy can Reaper ult. Um... They they only the enemy team only really use one ultimate and that's Anna. I mean the enemy team use Diva ultimate. And the enemy team still had Reinhardt ultimate. There was no way his team was winning this fight. <laughs> Absolutely not. Like Sound Bear would not have been enough. Like just ulting, just just ulting because you heard the Adam ult. That's not enough. Like your your sound bear is not enough. You need to ult some very important ultimates, like like the Ryan, like the uh, the Reinhardt Earth Shatter. Like th th this Earth Shatter needs to be because if Reinhardt still has ult Earth Shatter after you use your sound bear, your team the fight's lost. You lose anyway. So that's why I say like there's some times where just Lucio just doesn't have a lot of impact. Does not have high impact, especially in solo queue matches? Um, because you know, Sound Barrier can only do so much. So his team was winning, losing this fight regardless of when he ulted. There is no good spot to ult. This, this he was losing. The only thing, see, this is the situation where it would have been better to go Mercy. They, the enemy team blew like twenty thousand ultimates. If he was Mercy in this situation, this would have been a bet. Um, like, this would have been a, a really good time for a Mercy res, but he wasn't Mercy. So, in solo queue, I would actually say switch it up. But th this is one of those times where it's just like, Lucio's sound barrier not good enough. I'm repeating myself a lot, but just to hammer that point, Lucio's sound barrier would not have been good enough here. And they lose this, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure they won the entire game. It doesn't matter. But there we go. So iCar Games, that's my subscriber analysis. Let me go back to my face. So thank you, iCar Games, for submitting that gameplay. iCar Games actually came to my stream and submitted it in stream. So he kind of cut the line a little bit because he did come to my stream and link this gameplay. So um, link your gameplay in the comment section. Um, you can also come to my stream and ask for me to do a VOD analysis on stream. That's, that's where I do my VOD analysis or my subscriber analysis. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope that was helpful. This has been Professor Ganymede. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.